Hi, I'm Mara. I'm going to teach you Eka Bhuja Kapotasana, which is one arm pigeon. It's a great um, stretch for the pectorals, and I'm going to show you a couple of variations. I'm going to show you the easiest variation to get into, and then a more deep variation that also involves the lower body, the left. So in this external version, you want to make sure that you have a 90 degree angle shape of the arm. So shoulder, elbow, and wrist all in 90 degree angle shape. And because it's not a twist, it's okay to let your ear wrap down on the mat, like so. And that's the first part. If your shoulder joint does not come easily to the ground, it's really important to put like a washcloth or a little towel, something underneath there to stabilize the shoulder joint. And then you just gather the knees into the chest and let your left side, left ear rest right here. And pull breastbone away from the elbow. If you'd like to do an interesting version with your legs because your shoulder's on the ground and it's pretty accessible. So if you're stretching your left arm, left leg in lotus, right foot over the top. So you have like a lotus position, a modified lotus position for your lower body. And then the arm again comes out to a 90 degree angle shape. You're laying on your left side rib cage and your left ear is down. The right hand can be on the ground to pull the breastbone in the direction of the stretch to the pectorals. But deeper still would be to put the hand to the inside part of the knee to straighten the arm and then take your right shoulder back as you pull breastbone forward. So that's Eka Bhuja Kapoja for the left shoulder. And uh, great external rotation, great if you're doing a lot of